In an effort to improve its financial position, the Schneider Regional Medical Center will be concentrating on improving the efficiency of its billing processes. We are very intensely focused on driving revenue cycle. We've added new staff members to assist us with collections efforts. And we were looking at engaging a company to work with us on a pilot project to clean up old accounts and to build some untouched claims. So if we engage with them, it'll be on a contingency basis and it would just be for a percentage of the collections above what we're able to collect on our own and what we've historically collected. So it would be a win-win for the organization. Komish Young, who was speaking during a meeting of the Medical Center's governing board, was joined by Stephen Myers, Schneider Regional's financial services controller. He explained why the Medical Center believes that there were still millions of dollars left on the table. However, chair of the district governing board, Jerry Smith, questioned the calculations. In terms of our, our billing, we are billing an average of more than $12 million every month. So the, the initial billing appears to be at the point where we want to be, meaning that given that about 50 to 55 percent of bills are actually translated into cash, we're, we're saying that th there's a six million possible collection in that number. And so being where we are now, which is uh, at 46, which is about a little under four million average per month, we're saying that there is that there is that two million dollars intuitively and, and looking at the numbers there should be that additional two million dollars um sorry one million dollars in there although you're you're billing out 12 million dollars a month how much of that uh how much of that is what's sitting from the charge master's charges and not truly collectible because what would we do for um uh, contractual adjustments uh adjustments. how much yeah for the adjustments so how much of that we lose off the top there um, because it really wasn't collectible based on the contracts that you had with the payer for that particular patient. However, the facility's finance director, Kanisha Angol, jumped in to clarify. I, one of the reasons why I, um, the, there's an uh, idea out there that we are able to collect more, we should be able to collect more, is based on that one simple statistic, the clean claim rate. So when we look at our clean claim rate and we see that we have about 70% of our claims are clean, which means 30% of that is being um, rejected by our, our clearinghouse system, we know that there's there's a broken system. We know that there's work that needs to be done to, in order to get those claims resubmitted and work on those denials. So we know that there's a number of claims, 30% of claims that are being rejected and has to be resubmitted in. It's getting the hands on those claims, and that's one of the downfalls. I mean, there's many things that, that, that contribute to those claims being rejected, what was missing, incorrect demographics, um, medical records, and so forth. But that initial 30% that's automatically being rejected is definitely a delay in claims going out, which ultimately is a, a automatic delay in funds coming in. Angol stated that this was a huge part of the reason SRMC needed an additional billing center as existing arrangements have proven to be grossly insufficient. Angol said she hoped that with the new biller on board, the medical center will be able to realize greater efficiency in the rate of collections.